Oh, my tape measure broke. No. Oh, oh I messed up. God, what is this? God, 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 they're a pain in the to get off. Please don't judge me for my skills. I have no clue what the I'm doing. Don't take any advice from what I'm doing. Let's add the thick pinner's tape and then we can finally, finally start painting. Yes. Bonjour, mes amis. Je m'appelle Jack. C'est mon mieux. Oui. Pardon my horrible French, but today I am really feeling like Vincent Van Gogh because we are finally gonna paint my homemade sailboat. Finally got the opportunity to do it because last episode, if you saw it or not, we prepped the entire boat for paint so she is nice and smooth and it's looking perfect. So today we can finally start. I'm so excited. I got all my, I got my table ready. I'm good to go. Let's hop straight into this. All right, so here is the painting order. Firstly, we'll start with the deck. As you can see, it's already painted, but oh, we'll get to that in a second. Then we'll do the side of the hole and finish off with the bottom coat. Now with the deck, yes, it's already been painted and I did this about a year and a half ago because I got really bored. I did video it though, so I will throw up those videos right now. To be quite frank, it took me a while to find these guys. Anyways though, before I add any paint, I'm just prepping the surface one more time, making sure that the fiberglass is completely smooth. So I don't know if you guys can see much, but I did sand the whole starboard side of the boat. And now it's time for the painting process. For my paint, I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum Marine Coating Top Side Paint. After a little mixing, I poured some paint into my tray and started applying it to the boat. It was super satisfying to finally see the ugly wood get covered up. Painting the deck wasn't too difficult as well, and I really enjoyed adding this first coat. It completely transformed the entire look of the boat. So as you can see, the first coat is on and it's looking pretty good. Although you can still see the brush strokes all over where I painted, but that will be covered up in the next coat. Sorry for this blurriness. I thought the camera was in focus, but I guess it wasn't. The second coat was also fairly easy to apply. It is the next day and it's time to add on the third coat. Depending how this goes, this may be the last coat. Regarding these old clips, the third coat was the last one and I made sure to fill any gaps or light patches that I found. With the third coat on, I think it's looking pretty good and I don't think I'll need a fourth coat. Although you can see some imperfections in the paint such as here, you have a big spot there, you have some here, and these little imperfections are all over the boat in the paint. Boom. So deck has been roughly painted. Before I go back over and fill all these little gaps and whatnot with some fresh coats, I need to mark the waterline and then I can go back and paint the top of the deck. For the waterline, I had some assistance from the boat designer, Jerome, who sent me a bunch of helpful plans. Jerome, if you're watching this, thank you so much for your help. Anyways, I figured out the waterline and got some tools to help me mark it out on the boat. Talked to my dad about it and we're going with 18 inches for the waterline. All right, let's start with the good old transom. To mark the line, I held the pencil and tape measure in one hand and used my other hand to slide the tape measure across the top of the boat. Okay, there we go. Easy. So it probably looks very faint for you guys on camera, but here's the line. It might look a little curvy, but that is due to the epoxy in the wood. In my opinion, I think it is straight as a guide arrow. I think it looks pretty good. So now let's move on to the port and starboard sides. For the sides of the boat, I used the same technique. There we go. Come on. There we go. Looks pretty straight for the most part. All right, let's continue. Too much crap on this side of the boat. I then grabbed my vinyl tape. So I've never used tape this thin before, so it's gonna be a little, little learning process for me. Right now, my reasoning is, uh, I'm gonna start with the transom, since I've never used tape this thin before. Hopefully this will go smoothly. When applying this tape, I attached a little bit of it, stretched it out, then went back and started to slowly press it onto the boat. I'm gonna go back with my thumb and make sure this is super flat and well adhered to the boat. I think that's pretty good. You wanna take a look? What are your thoughts? Looks good. Then what I would do is I would take a, a piece of the blue painter's tape. Yeah, and put it like halfway and, on. And, and, and put, yeah, just so when you're, you're gonna go over and you're gonna, you know. Okay. That's what I would do. Hi guys! 
I just realized, look at this. So it, look, it looks pretty straight, right? It looks pretty good, but until you look at it from the side. Oh my God, it's so wavy. I, th I think it's fine though, I'm like, I'm not gonna change it. I don't want this boat to look perfect. It already looks like shit, so. All right, going off my dad's advice, I'm taking the thicker pinner's tape and I'm gonna put it right about here. Halfway on the thin blue tape, the rest of it is on the rest of the boat. The thumb trick again. Oh, et voila. Let's move on to the port side. The port side wasn't too complicated. I was able to quickly knock what it I out. What I really like about this tape is like, it's stretchy. So I'm able to pull it, get it nice and taut, and then I can get it really close to my marking line or my marked line. It just makes this a whole lot easier. Looking good. And there we go. I then used my thumb again to press down the tape. It might be easier or less painful to use an object or something, but I ain't no I, I feel a lot more confident about this line than the transom line. With the vinyl tape on, I went back and added the large painter's tape. Move this guy out. Let's do the starboard side, baby. The starboard side was the exact same process as the port side. I carefully added the vinyl tape, then got ready to add the painter's tape. The painter's tape was much easier to add, but I still took my time with it. Here we go. This video reaches 100 likes. Let's keep it easy. I will build a boat out of scotch painter's tape. The boat will be made out of god tape. <laughs> Gotta smooth it out like a smoother. Painting the deck is pretty straightforward. I have used this paint in the past for, again, the deck and uh, also the interior. So, I got this guy, got some brushes, I uh, got some foam rollers, a little paint pail. We can start painting the deck. I'm gonna do about two coats or use the entire can. So yeah, let's get to it. Whoa, look at that. That looks beautiful. To hammer in a few little holes just so the paint can drain back in. Let's do a generous amount. This paint is the exact same that I used at the beginning of the video and I applied it in the same fashion. I wasn't too concerned with how it looked, I just wanted to get a solid base layer down. All right, that wasn't too bad, but now, um, as you can see, it's uh, nice and sunny outside, so I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit, and then I will add the second coat. In the meantime, I'm gonna prep the whole of the boat or my main color. I know I just said I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit, but literally like a minute after I just made that last statement, I checked, and it's pretty dry. It's still tacky, so this means I can go and add my final coat. This final coat was a breeze to add. I had plenty of paint, so I was able to add a generous amount. Sorry if it's super bright, but I got the second coat of paint on the deck of the boat and it's looking pretty good. Time to add some primer on this guy and it should be pretty quick because I can, you know, I can easily like stand up and do it. Um, I'm gonna add two coats of primer, sand that, and then I'll add a ton of coats of the main paint. This should really transform the boat. This primer is a little different compared to the deck, but I think it went on beautifully. And there we go, the entire boat has been covered with one coat of its primer. Let's get going with the second coat of paint. Mm. Oh, I really hope I have enough paint. I'm gonna pour about half. So I'm making an executive decision for the transom. It is not getting a second coat. It looks fairly thick for just one coat. And plus, I, I have uh, no paint left. I'm running very, very, very low. With what I had left, I slowly made some progress on the starboard side. I was really trying to squeeze out every single drop of paint on this roller. There we go. I am completely out of topside primer. I mean, it doesn't look too 
I guess. With a small paintbrush, I went back and filled any noticeable gaps. I also had some extra deck paint, so I decided to add that and fully finish off the deck. The deck is not tacky anymore, so that means I can start sanding the hull of the boat in prep for the main coat. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. I decided to start with 400 grit sandpaper as it's still pretty abrasive, but not that rough. I realized I wasn't making any progress and noticed that my sandpaper was all messed up. I decided to switch to these 150 grit foam block sanders. Okay, so I know this all looks like shit. it looks horrible, but I think the palm sander just created way too much heat and paint would build up on the sandpaper itself. I used these sanding sponges and they did uh, they did their job. They worked pretty well. But yeah, you can still see a ton of imperfections. At this point, I don't really care anymore. I just want to finish the boat. I think it gives it characteristic. I think it gives it like a little little bit of style. Shows that it was homemade. Ugh. Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. Those. Now that the boat is sanded, we can wipe this down with the wet rag. Wet rag time! I'm using this wet rag to try and remove any leftover dust from the sanding process. Look at that. Look at all that dust. We don't want that in our paint. Boat is nice and dry. So now we can finally add the main coat, which will be this total boat wet edge. And the color I decided to go with is Kingston Gray. Please be a nice gray color. Oh, let's give it a stir. Purdy gray. Okay. Okay, let's see what this looks like. I don't even think I need to do the roll and tip method. This is going on pretty well, getting nice coverage. Yeah, it's going on very smoothly. I like how this is turning out. This was by far my favorite part of this entire episode. Adding the main paint truly transformed the boat and I think it looks amazing. Once I finished up the transom, I moved on to the port side. With the port side all finished up, I got going on the starboard side. This is going on very nicely. The fiberglass is not smooth whatsoever. You can see all the bumps and imperfections, but you know what? This whole project was a massive learning curve. This boat is not perfect by any means. I am not the best boat builder, but you know, I had a lot of fun building this. I also learned a lot from you guys. Got a lot of helpful tips about construction process, what to do, rigging, all that good stuff. So whole project was a massive learning curve. I wrote my college essay about this, but you know, I'm glad I built it. I'm really damn glad I built this boat. And there we go, the first coat of paint has been applied and I think it's looking pretty good so far. You can probably tell that it's the next day and that's because I was reading the instructions on the Total Boat uh, paint can and it said that I have to wait about 16 hours in between coats. So it's been 16 hours, so let's apply the second coat. Just gotta mix up the paint a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Pour a decent amount in here. All right, here we go. Just like the first coat, the second one went on smoothly and I had no issues whatsoever.
And there we go, the second coat has been applied and I like how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good so far. So finally now we can remove the tape and see if we have a nice clean line. Or maybe not, damn. Oh, that actually looks a lot better than I thought. Removing this tape was also extremely satisfying. So I'm actually pretty shocked. This line is super crisp and f***ing perfect. Hopefully the port side and starboard side will turn out the exact same as the transom. So the port side turned out looking really well too, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. I really like how this looks. So let's finish off on the starboard side and get all that tape ripped off. There we go, starboard side is done. It has a few more imperfections than the port side, but again, still looks pretty clean. I like how it turned out. So anyways, let's move on to the anti-fouling paint or the blue paint, which is gonna be a little bit of a challenge to do. Things took a sudden, unexpected turn. An urgent matter forced me to ditch everything and rush over to Chicago. It's, it's been pretty chaotic to say the least, but I promise I'll explain everything in the next video. Please stay tuned though. This is something you won't wanna miss.